So this is my 1971 Sparkling America Hardy Davidson FLH. Um, it has 3,175 original miles. Yeah, this is an original paint motorcycle, and it also is the definition of a true barn find. Um, the um, it, it's a hundred percent original. Outside of I put new tires on it because I plan on riding this. I put the Shinko um, Speed Grip lookalikes um, vintage tires on them with new inner tubes, of course. Because I, I do plan on riding this, and the there's the old new stock decals that are on it. Obviously, those are not original, and I'll explain why. But this is uh, why I'm I'm sharing this video. Uh, let me start off by saying that I am not a YouTuber. Uh, I don't post any videos at all. Uh, I did post one video besides this, and it's a two minute video of this bike running when I first got it. I've owned it for two weeks now. Uh, and it had the original tires on it. I just wanted the bike in its original, uh, just being 100% original, I wanted a running video of it, cold start, and just show everybody. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I, I'm not gonna, this is gonna be somewhat of a crude video. Um, I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not gonna go inside on a computer and edit this and, and add photos. Uh, I'm not sure how to really do that. Um, um, I'm kind of old school, so uh, excuse the crudeness. This is strictly off my phone, but I, I felt that it was important to share the story of this bike. It's very interesting, uh, in my opinion, um, and a couple of reasons why I want to share this. One is that um, uh, when I went to buy this bike, um, there wasn't very many photos or pictures or videos of this at all. If you Google this bike, there's not very many images that come up. Um, even on Pinterest, uh, I don't see any images. You find the 71 uh, Super Glide Sparkling America and the Sportster, but I don't see too many of these at all. I have seen one other video of these, but I, of this b bike, but I think it was uh, repainted. It was uh, restored. Uh, and the second reason why I want to I, I, uh, I want to uh, post a video of this is. The story behind this bike is, to me, is incredible. It's just fascinating how this bike came to be, um, how it was saved. It literally was pulled out of a barn, 3,100 original miles. Uh, I will show you the proof of that here with all the evidence I have, um, you know, a story I got with it. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's why I'm going to share this real quick. Um, uh, my, I want to start by saying my buddy, who I bought this from, literally takes all the credit for what he did with this bike. Uh, he's been, that's his job. He, he works on motorcycles, you know, that, that's what he's been doing for the last 40 years. Uh, literally just works on motorcycles. That's what he does for a living. He owns uh, a lot of motorcycles and he is, he literally is genius when it comes to motorcycles. He knows everything about them. He's, but anyway, this bike will speak for itself. So he's the one that brought this back to life. The, I can't take none of the credit except for um, financing it and buying it, basically. Um, uh, I did put the tires on it. Outside of that, he deserves all the credit. Um, I would love to mention his name, but uh, he doesn't. He don't want the notoriety. But anyway, he's he's a genius. But anyway, so here, let, let me, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, the reason why it has, uh, has uh, new old stock decals is because this bike was originally maroon when he bought it. And uh, uh, here's the tires I changed. Uh, uh, the old Goodyear speed grips. Um, even had, uh, even my uh, motorcycle shop guy was a surprise to see the Goodyear tires in here still. But uh, I tried to find a date code on these tires uh, and I don't know if they made them on here uh, th then, but there's no date code on here. But these are the original to the bike, 3,100 miles. But uh, anyway, let me show you. I made a photo album and laminated all these uh, photos. So excuse the crudeness or the glare, but I wanted to show you, uh, this is what this bike looked like when it was pulled out of the barn. Uh, this is a couple years ago. 
it was maroon. Um, and the story goes, my education on it was that, you know, uh, the reason why it's painted maroon is because in 71, um, nobody wanted anything to do with a sparkling America, uh, America themed paint job on their motorcycle, especially after the Vietnam war. So, uh, I, I guess these bikes were hard to sell was, was what, 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 what I was told. So this bike literally probably sat at the dealer for a couple years until they painted it maroon and then someone bought it. Um, so that's another reason why this bike is so rare. Uh, if someone didn't customize it themselves, like everyone did back in the day, they definitely did on this one because no one wanted to buy that, this paint job scheme, I guess, uh, with the Sparkling America. And so anyway, um, that's what it looked like when he pulled it out of the barn. Um, I'm going to show you just a few of these photos to show you. If you look at that, there, that's the tank underneath where he could see the original white paint. He was told that the original paint was underneath there. He took a gamble on whether he could save it or not. And of course, he told me he's got about 80 hours invested uh, in, uh, in sanding this to save that paint. You know, there was a blue... There was a blue gray primer underneath that maroon. So there was two, two different paint layers to get through without destroying the original paint. And thank God the dealer had the foresight to uh, not screw up the paint when they, uh, I guess they just scuffed the clear coat up and just primered it. Uh, I think this is the rear fender where he's seen the decals that overlapped underneath the fender where they just painted over it because underneath the fender really, you really didn't, it didn't matter, I guess. Here's the front fender where he started saying and he found the original decal so he knew the original paint was underneath it uh now it was just time to save it and then if you look um if you look here you can actually see where it would sit outside you know back in the day before they they pulled them out uh of the shop while they're working on bikes and it sat out there for a couple of years and the sun actually faded. You can see where the old decal used to be. And, and then there's the front fender. You got, you know, you can see some of the old maroon there and the old decal right there. But, um, and, you know, slowly, you know, he went from the maroon, the maroon to the primer to get down to this. And if you look real closely, if I don't put any glare on it, you can see the outline where it was faded um, of the old decals. So, um, anyway, this was the original speedometer when he got the bike. That's actually what's on the title when it was registered in 1970, or no, 2000, 2012 was the last thing this was titled and it had 3110 on it. Uh, and then of course it had a, it had a couple tents from being pu pushed around the barn. There's the original copper air filter when he pulled it off it, which I still have, I'll show you in a minute. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's the paint, you know, with the, I guess with the paint bleeding through underneath a little bit from the, the uh, maroon paint job. And a couple other photos of just when. Uh, here's where I went. This is really where he got excited. You doubt, you know, that kind of looking bike, uh, when it's patina like that, does it, the speedometer says 3,100 miles. That's the inside of the primary when he took the cover off. Now, of course, he cleaned up a little bit, all the oil, but that's what it looked like. You can see the original braided line from the factory. Uh, the bolts have never been touched. There's a... There's a head bolt where he took the, uh, that air induction cover that, you know, that cools the heads. Uh, I took it off. I don't like them, but look at this. If you look at the clutch basket, you can see where these have never been adjusted. No score marks, you know, in the parkerization. You, that nut's never been turned except for to take what he did when he took it off. I mean, it's immaculate. Ma immaculate. Uh, and then that was... That was the primer when you first took it off. 
and then there's the uh, original uh, carburetor. Um, still has the original points, of course, inside it. Um, he did, like I said, I did tell you about the new old stock decals. Uh, he did find the new old stock uh, decals that fit perfectly over where the decals were supposed to go that were faded. There's the timing inspection hole. Uh, original wiring. Uh, going the wrong way, let's go this way. There's the tires, original Goodyear tires. Uh, new old stock decals. Obviously, they ought to replace because they were painted over. Um, original saddlebags. Those weren't touched because no one ever paints the bags. Those were always white. And then uh, just some of those. So this is how I got the bike with the original buddy seat on it. That's when he finished it. Uh, he basically went through it, did a full service on it, uh, you know, adjusted the clutch and some other stuff, uh, you know, when, um, here's the original seat over here, the original seat that was on it. It's the old buddy seats. Uh, I don't think they look horrible on the bike. I just, I prefer the solo seat, the police style solo seat. Um, and these are horrible to ride with when you ride them. They're just, they're, I don't know, they put you up on top of the tank. It's not a very comfortable ride, but anyway. Um, so there's the seat that's on it now, um, which I prefer beside the other seat. Let me go a few, a few, thing, a few of the original parts. There's that air induction. Uh, it was on my 71 too. These things are, I think they're ugly. They might work, but they're heavy and I don't know. I think it, I just don't like them on there. It looks better without them, but I kept it. Uh, this is the, uh, for the saddlebags, of course, they were, they're hard as a rock. They were all dry rotted just from years of just sitting there. Uh, so I did replace those because um, the lids were loose and uh, this, wasn't, this wasn't doing a job. So I, I did keep it because it's original to the bike. Um, original uh, gas cap gaskets, of course, they were dry rotted. Uh, that left one was, was, it's hard to get off of there and it literally broke up, but there's the right one, the vented one, and it was okay to get off, but I saved it and put new ones on. Just, I'm saving it. Anything original of this bike, I saved. Here's that air, cl that air cleaner. This thing is, a, this thing is beautiful. I have never seen the old copper air filter in this kind of shape. I mean, this thing is beautiful. This is the original that was off the bike. I could have ran it. But I do plan on riding this bike, so I updated it with a cane and an filter that I had, a new one. Uh, here's the original chain, uh, original master link. Um, the brake pressure switch was changed. Uh, original spark plug, original spark plugs that were in it. Uh, the brake line, the, the the only thing that was messed up, well, one of them was the brake line. The brake line was, uh, I guess, broke or dry rotted. So he did find the OEM brake line for this year uh, at an antique swap meet. It's patina, it's got the correct look. And the fuel line hose, which is hardened. Uh, just didn't want to run that again after going through and cleaning the tanks out. And the flasher, changed the flasher. Um, anything electrical that might have. This is the original plate, plate that was running a bike. Last time it was registered was in 1979. I think this was the second owner. Um, the first owner was, I think, in Kentucky. I'm not sure. But those are all, oh, this is, the, this is real cool, the last thing. This was the gasket in the primary, when you took the primary off. This gasket is, a, this gasket is asbestos. So um, it, it was really important to keep because it's original. Um, Anything to come off this bike service-wise, I'm gonna keep original to this bike because the bike literally is 100% original but outside of um, the repop, or the repop, the uh, old new stock decals, which obviously you had to find those. But, and they're nice and shiny and they're a little bit brighter than the original patinaed paint, but that's all right. Uh, at least it was able to be saved. Uh, I found me a really, really cool uh, 71, uh, someone helped me locate this, 71, uh, 
uh, plate that I could run a storkel to this bike. Uh, it looks really good on the bike. Uh, the only thing that's not original to this bike is the seat is not a real seat. This is like a Corbin Gentry. It's in good shape and it looks good on the bike. Uh, this is temporary. Um, I do have an original police um, knuckle pan solo seat uh, that I am having, I'm gonna put on this bike. Uh, currently, uh, uh, I, uh, it, uh, I sent it off to have it uh, re-leathered. Uh, re I did have an original skirt uh, that's real patinaed. It looks kind of like this. It's really good shape and knees are real patinaed. So I sent him the skirt. I, I don't got mind giving him a shout out. It's Heather's Leathers. Wayne from Heather's Leathers. He uh, he does incredible work. Uh, I've dealt with him before. Uh, he uh, he made my my saddlebags for my 98 Heritage, which they're they're incredible. I mean, they're the real deal. They got the hardy hardy on them. So he does seats also. Uh, this is the old seat skin that was on that original police seat that I just sent off to Wayne to redo. So I will have a, a real, a hard, an original Hardy seat um, on this. But for now, that'll do just so I can ride it. Um, anyway, a uh, couple of cool things about this. I'll show you outside of, uh, let, me, let me get a flashlight here. Um, real closely, if you look at these bolts, the oil pump, I mean, there's never been any wrench or screwdriver on any of these bolts. I mean, you look at it, never been scored. You look at the rocker head bolts, there's never been anything, any Allen wrench in there. Uh, the old Rockwell and CP bolts you can find on this bike. Original from the Harley, from the factory. <coughs> There's the decals that went on perfectly. I mean, he did a great job with this. Um, like I said, I've been told he, he has around 80 hours in, in saving this paint. Um, getting through, you know, the patience of sanding through different, two different paints to get to that original without destroying that one. The only, the bags are original. The decals are original. That's the only flaw of this bag. Looks like someone may have stepped on it or something fell on it one time. It didn't look like it went dancing down the road or anything, but that's the only issue with that bag, but it's original, so I'm not worried about it. That's the way it's gonna stay. I think the decals might be newer, or they might be new old stock along with that decal that he had to replace. All the lights, if you look at the lights, they're the real deal. They're the old guide lights. These are original. And then this fairing, particularly this fairing, I've never seen one like this, but I guess in the early years of the 70s, I've never seen this basket weave. The old, this, this basket weave type fiberglass on this fairing, uh, which is really cool. I've never seen one like that. And also to note, the, uh, if you look how this, how this is angled, this bat wing, I've never seen this on any other, I haven't seen that one before. That was pointed out to me. If you look at it, how it's kind of like cornered or boxed there. Uh, this is a this is a Hardy Davidson uh, shovel head fairing, and if you look at the difference, uh, this one's on this one's on my Road King. But if you look at this one, you know it was just all smooth fiberglass. But you know this is the only places where it's you know got the forms of the edges. The other one is up here, but that's the difference. I mean, you can see them on you know, the mid seventies, the difference, but I've never seen a fairing like that, but that is original fairing to this. That is the original decal. Uh, the bags and the fairing didn't have to mess with because they were white anyway. So 
no one really painted them. I don't even think when it was painted maroon, they even ran the fairing probably. But anyway, it's in beautiful shape. But I've never seen one that did this. That's pretty cool. Mirrors are original. Everything else is original. Um, uh, if you know any history on this, I'd love to know. But I don't know if the dealer or Harley or would, why they would turn them pegs inside out or inside like that. But uh, my buddy who's been around motorcycles forever, he's seen that before. Uh, and it was on an original paint motorcycle. And he's wondering if it came from the dealer like that. Uh, to me, that's kind of dangerous, but I left it like that because it's, it's original to the bike. Uh, I've never seen them in like that, but so I'm not touching them. But if anyone else has any information on if that's how they would do it from the factory or the dealer would have done that, um, it's happened only a couple of times. And my buddy's seen them and they were both on original paint bikes with low miles. So, um, so when I, I left them like that, um, uh, uh, service wise, you know, new battery, of course, um, electrical wiring is all original. Uh, there was no need to touch any of that. Um, you know, tires, um, I don't think anything else, um, service wise, all the fluids have been changed. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, the, uh, the old buttons. For the start and the horn, those were black, but they faded white. Those are original. So, you know. And mirrors cracked on left hand side, but I do have an original one to replace that with. But everything else is is incredible on this bike. So um I will start it up real quick before I uh before I end this video. Um, this is always a fun part, starting these things up with 3,000 miles on it. I've already wrote, I've put about, right there, I've put 63 miles on this since I've, I've bought it. Uh, I am breaking this in like a new motorcycle since it has such low miles. And I don't know what's, last time it was really ridden. Um, but I am breaking it in like a new one. I'm going to, I'm going to do so, a soft 500 miles on it. Um, you know, then I'll change all the fluids to break it in. And then uh, I plan on riding this to uh, several of the AMCA swap meets this year. Um, I'm looking forward to showing this bike off. I've never seen one in person. Uh, this is the first one I've seen in person and that's why I fell in love with it. Uh, I knew they existed. Uh, I didn't know the story about it until, you know, my buddy, uh, you know, educated me a little bit on it. But anyway, let me, let me start this up and then I'll end this video. Um, So that's it, that's my video. Um, like I said, sorry for the crudeness. Um, I won't do this very often. Uh, I did enjoy showing the bike off. Uh, and just in case someone else was interested in seeing an original paint 1971 uh, Sparkling America FLH. Now there's one that exists. Uh, there might be some others, I haven't seen them. And I have done a lot of Googling for them or YouTubing, so anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching.